morning, everyone. Um, Chicago, Illinois, Donald E. Stevens Convention Center. We are at Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, commonly referred to as McCacken. I am here with Lynn and Alden Miles, and they're going to tell us about their 1958 Corvette and why they are here at McCacken and how they got to earn their Triple Diamond Award today uh, at McCacken. Hi, Alden. Hi, Lynn. Thanks Hi. for joining us. You're welcome. <clears throat> this is uh, the process of, of to get a Triple Diamond Award. You first have to have gone to a Bloomington Gold and got a gold certificate, and then you would also have to get a top play with NCRS to be able to be eligible to come for this event. Tell us about your car. Okay, this is a 1958 Corvette. This is uh, a car that has a 270 horse uh, power V8. That means it has two four barrels on it. That's one of the five engines that were available in 1958. It's a four speed car, pause attraction. It has some options like power windows in it. It has radio heater in it, which were all options back in the day. Pause attraction was another option. Convertible top, you could either get convertible, a hard top, or you could get no top at all. Awesome. Tell us the color again, would you? This color is Regal Turquoise. There were 490 of them built in 1958. This is a one year only color. Tell us a few unique items. We obviously can see in 1958 the hood was specific and unique to 58. Right. Anything else that's unique? There are rear spears on the trunk lid which are also unique to only 58. And a few subtle differences. This was the first uh, body style for of this style ran from 58 to, to 1960 with this body design. Then there was a change in 61 where they used the front of this but the back of the C2s. Got it. I'm going to just do a little walk around while we're talking. Tell us just a little bit about this engine. You said it's optional with two four barrel carburetors. Tell us about that. That's correct. In 1958, they offered five different engines. They offered a single four barrel. They offered a uh, two four barrel with a hydraulic cam in it. They offered a fuel injection with a hydraulic cam. Then this offering was a two fours with a solid lifter cam. And then they offered fuel injection with a solid lifter camshaft. Interesting, fantastic. So this two four barrel was a rare high horsepower engine option without being fuel injected. Exactly. I exactly. noticed something unique in here I don't see often on C1s, a pair of red wires here. I yeah. know this is a special option. Tell us where that goes and what it does. Right, that's a circuit breaker that's for the power windows. It was the same circuit breaker used if you had a power top. Uh, and it's simply because the ignition system uh, on, uh, the power windows are live all the time. So okay. when the ignition system is off, power window still will run up and down. That's why it has a circuit breaker. Got it. So that again had to be a very rare option in 58. Didn't That's it? correct. We're going to just take a little peek inside the car here. 58 was the first year that seat belts were available as standard equipment. They were an option in 57, but standard in 58 going forward. Walk around back, and we're going to look at these unique trunk spears that we talked about that are only on 1958. These were uh, heavy chrome, and they came out in 58. They stopped using them in 59. What was the main reason? They, it, they just felt that it was a one year design. They wanted to make a, a little unique change. They're always looking to change something on the bodies to be able to bring out a new uh, model year. Sure. Now I see there's a plate here, and this does not say Alden's 58. That's so right. So what's going on with that? Well, it, it's her car. Um, she wanted a 58 Corvette. She had never driven a 58. She had never even sat in a 58. But she wanted a 58. So when we bought this car, it was a barn find. It had sat in a barn for 35 years, did not run. So we took the car completely apart, replaced every nut and bolt in it, had it repainted into this color, and here we are today. Well, the car is stunning and just spectacular. Um, I know you more earned a, another special award yesterday that was not part of the McCacken judging. Tell us just a little about this. 
Well, the Carlisle uh, Events Group went around the show and they looked at all Corvettes that were here being showed and they awarded us with the best Corvette at the show. So it was a, it was a very unique and distinct honor. We're very pleased with that. Well, looking at all of the Corvettes here as I have, I can agree with them. This is a spectacular Corvette. Let me come back here and tell us just uh, the last thing. Tell us what you love about coming to McCacken. Well, it's unique because it's a combination of not only Corvettes, which when we show the car is generally the only things we see, but this has a full range of all muscle cars, and they're, they're housed here by products. So if you're, if you're a Chevelle guy, all the Chevelles are together. If you're a Mopar guy, all the Mopars are together, Oldsmobiles. So all the muscle cars that we grew up with are all shown here, and it's just a nice memorabilia going down looking at all the cars that we used to see on the road all the time. Sure. I think the number I heard was about 675 cars here being displayed and judged today. Other than Corvettes, did you have one that you, you thought was your favorite that you saw? Well, I when I grew up, I had Chevelles. I had a 67 Chevelle and later bought a brand new 69 Chevelle. Unfortunately, that car got totaled. And when I decided to replace it, I bought a 1970 Nova rather than a Chevelle. On hindsight, I probably would have gone back and ordered an FS6 Chevelle, because today that would have brought money to the bank. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you, Alden and Lynn, coming all the way from Minnesota, sharing your incredible 58 Corvette with us. Thank you for your story, and I appreciate you sharing with us today. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks, you. Brad. And for those of you that enjoyed this Corvette content, please follow me on Corvette Genius. I continue to try to provide uh, Corvette-related content for MCRS, Wilmington Gold, and all Corvette events around the country uh, as they pop up. Thanks again. Hit the like button, share to your social media, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.